Ladies and gentlemen, let's try again into the video. We have news regarding NVIDIA's new range of graphics cards. Firstly, we're going to start off with NVIDIA's Titan Z, which, if you may recall, was announced way back in GTC 2014. It's supposed to be scheduled for April. So, we've got conflicting reports in the, some sources stating that the card is going to be delayed. And indeed, some webs, um, online retailers, for example, OC UK and GDM, have basically said that NVIDIA have told the retailers not to sell it and just to hold fire. Uh, hold fire. And the reasons as to this aren't too clear, but supposedly it's got to do with the Titan Z's price and the fact that NVIDIA aren't too confident that they're going to be able to push the cards out at the numbers in terms of the manufacturing process as what they'd hoped because basically the card is going to cost like 3000 US dollars and the clock speeds aren't going to be enough to make it well even slightly worth the cash however Nvidia themselves have made an official comment they've said that Titan Z is still on track but there's still no specific release date for uh, the card. And basically they've said it could be months, weeks, or whatever. The, basically the time frame is well when it's ready. Which isn't particularly confidence building, is it? And they've basically said the Titan Z will please both PC enthusiasts and CUDA developers when it's available in Q2. So it's basically like, well, when's it going to be released? Now... I've been fairly vocal on my opinions regarding Titan Z, and basically from what the leaks and previews have been of the card, it just doesn't seem to be a particularly good deal. Um, you could, for example, go try SLI on something like a 780 Ti. You could buy two... Um, R9295X2s just for the same price and in terms of performance unless you're doing a lot of CUDA work or a lot of rendering it's just not worth it so there is that to consider now the second one is a rumor concerning uh, NVIDIA's GeForce 880 range but this has not been confirmed and these rumors actually originate from Chinese forums but basically the Someone at Chip Hell wrote a brief post about the upcoming Maxwell, also known as GM204. That's a specific type of Maxwell. And apparently it's the same GPU that is believed to be powering the soon-to-be-released uh, GTX 880. But what was really interesting about this is that they actually mentioned GM204 with a B1 stepping. So according to this guy's source, the B1 stepping would be powering the future GeForce 900 series, which is supposedly based on a 20NM process. But the A1 and the A2 steppings are apparently reserved for the GTX 800 series. So the basic idea here is that it could be a very similar instance to say the G73 or the G92 and so on which will split into different steppings. Now it's not really sure what's going to happen because for many people including myself it's likely that Maxwell is not really going to be released with the 800 series and so it's a lot of conflicting reports and obviously Nvidia are not going to be telling us much. Now the leaker, once again in massive quotation marks here, also mentioned that the GTX 970 is going to be released the second half of 2015. So basically anything from let's say 12 to say 16 months from now. And in theory, the GM204, which would possibly make this the GTX 880, would be around... 10% faster than the GTX 780 Ti, and it would have more than twice the 780 Ti's frame buffer. So it's going to be possibly between 6 to 8 gigabytes. So that would mean, once again, theoretically, you're going to be seeing either 256 or a 512 bit interface. So, of course, logically, DX12 will be also fully supported. 
Now, obviously, for some people, you'll probably know that DX12 is going to be back with the compatible with cards anyway, but obviously, it's most likely there's going to be certain features that aren't compatible with this. So, what are my thoughts? Well, pretty much don't hold your breath. Um, it's probable with this information that, look, let's say, assume Maxwell is released now. Let's assume it's released 10 seconds from when I create this video. So it's released on, no, what is it, the, what date is it today, like the 10th? So let's even assume it's the 10th of this month it's released, and it's not. It's going to be several months from now. But let's even assume it is. It's probably not going to be, for those of you who have got a reasonably good graphics card, say a Titan, a 780, or something along those lines, or let's put it this way, if you're happy with your PC graphics, you're probably not going to want to jump on the Maxwell if this is what they're saying, because supposedly there's going to be a die shrink coming. But once again, to reiterate, most of this is, well up in the air. And there's been some tests that I've seen from a couple of different websites, predominantly the 780 Ti versus the Titan Black. And despite the fact that the Titan Black has doubled the frame buffer of the Ti, right now games are just not utilizing the 3 gigabyte buffer, at least in the tests that they've done. And this is even at 4K. However, obviously with Unreal Engine 4, it's going to be a bit different. And so there's a lot of crossover. So my personal advice to you is that if possible, if you've got a reasonable card right now, probably just wait and see what happens. But once again, of course, ye old typical advice. You can play the waiting game forever and a day. But one thing for certain for PC gamers... And particularly you'll know this if you've been following my recent Intel and AMD videos, with DDR4 going to be released and introduced most likely pretty much as a standard some point next year, and we've got the new Maxwell architecture coming out, we've got advances in going to be the core technologies obviously, we've possibly going to be seeing Skylake in late 2015 slash 2016. Over the next couple of years the PC landscape is going to be changing massively and the power on these next generation parts is going to basically dwarf that of the PS4 slash X1. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Once again, if you want more information, you can check out, uh, check out Chip Hell, but most of this is just rumors right now, and some of it's translated from Chinese and so on. So the accuracy, accuracy I'm sorry, of this is somewhat suspect. But there you go. So take care, and bye for now.